Hello everyone, it's week four and the final week of the Let's Journal prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium. I can't believe how quickly this month has gone. Um, I'm going to be um, working in my usual scraps journal again and I've pulled out these few scraps here. Now you've seen me use some of these um, in projects throughout the month. Um, these papers were sent to me in Happy Mail by Eugene. Um, absolutely love these. So I just want to try and pull these together. Now I am thinking that I can maybe pull some kind of um, tag type um, composition together here like this. I have had um, a bit of a play around with this. Um, really like this kind of layout. I was thinking of having these here like this. Um, I've also pulled out um, a piece of a doily as well, which I thought would look um, really cute just on the end here like this. So I think I'm going to um, start off by gluing that down and let's see what we can do to pull it um, all together. Now, the first thing I would say is that once you've got um, a composition that you're happy with, take a photograph of it, because by the time you come to glue it down, um, you'll never remember um, where you had everything in place. So take a photograph first. So I'm happy with that um, initial layout. So before I do anything, I need to decide which page um, in my journal I want it to go. And I've opted for this back page here like this. Let's um, slide this out. Um, so that's where that's going to go. So I just need to decide um, how much of this I need to trim off um, along the edge. Now clearly I'm going to have to um, find some kind of background to mount this on and that's okay. Um, but just so that um, I've got um, an even um, border I'm just going to take this off to the uh, paper trimmer and just trim this here like so. So you can see I've taken these off to the sewing machine. I absolutely love the way that that looks. So let me just hold this up so that you can see I've gone all the way around the edges here and down the centre. Um, this one here I started off here, went all the way um, around like this. I love how that looks. This one did buckle slightly so I've just ironed it. Um, I just think it all adds to the texture, doesn't it? That's my excuse um, for my poor sewing anyway. I still haven't um, changed my needle by the way. And for anybody, and you know, I do receive a lot of comments from people who, like me, have um, a complete phobia of the sewing machine. Up until a couple of years ago, and anybody who's been following me for um, a while knows that I was just absolutely terrified of using the sewing machine. Um, I've been playing around with it now for, I don't know, two and a half, possibly three years, and I am getting better and better and less scared. Um, I still haven't changed my needle yet, um, which is um, you know my next milestone that I need to get over but you know moving on to the project I just want to um, pop this doily underneath here and glue this down I think that looks absolutely um, beautiful so here we go I've just applied some glue stick to the um, back here like this hang on wrong way round it's um, it's that way round isn't it um, go easy with your doilies because they are fragile and um, you know if you go too heavy-handed with your glue they will just tear so just be really really gentle there we go let's um, let's just pop pop that down there like like that I love how that looks that's um, that's gorgeous um, so I just need to find um, some kind of a background let me just um, burnish this down with my with my finger just to make sure that um, that that glue grabs here we go we can just use the bone folder um, as well I'm really happy with that um, now of course I need to find some kind of background for this um, piece of wallpaper here this was a piece of um, wallpaper scrap um, so of course we've got um, the design pattern on the back um, which I need to cover cover up you see I really like that um, as it is do I want to leave that plain um, I have pulled out some papers here let's have a look and see what um, these look like of course course I could just use distress ink um, around the background and leave that as it is which I may well do. Um, I've got this piece here which was gifted to me again in Happy Mail by my friend Pam. You see that looks pretty that's um that's quite plain isn't it so that that works really well i think this one is going to be too too green um in fact no i'm discarding that um already and my fear with this one here is um i would be covering up too much of that gorgeous um eco dyed eco dyed print 
um, as beautiful as it is, I can't bring myself to do it. So I've either got to um, leave it plain. I think what I'm going to do is leave it plain and um, let's apply some Distress Ink just around the outside just to make it less white. So I've got my makeup brush here. Um, as I've said before, this is just um, a cheap one that I got from um, Amazon. I just think these um, apply a lighter element than using one of your distress tools like, like this. It's not quite um, as harsh. And you can just um, build up the layers where you want to. You see, I think this will be this will be perfect. And so I'm just going to go all the way around the edge like like this. Um, and I'm using frayed frayed burlap. Now I am going to use the sponge just to um, frame the outside slightly, just to give it um, a harsher edge. Here we go. So I'll go all all the way around like this just to just to frame it um, and that's enough for my background I'm quite happy with this and then fold the page over and let's let's do that so as I've said I'm quite happy with that and then let's just glue this down I'm just going to use some three in one just around the outside to do that just a small amount of glue, not too much. Here we are. So let's pop that down there like, like that. That's cool. I love that. That's a beautiful page. So we just need to add some kind of focal image. Now I've got these um, Victorian ladies or Edwardian ladies. I'm not quite sure um, what they are. Aren't they beautiful though? And I'm thinking here that maybe this blue one um, here will work. We've got so many busy um, colours and patterns going on in the background. I want something quite plain. I do want to take this um, sticky pad off here like this just because I think it's going to add too much bulk. So I'm just going to um, try and peel this off. Um, there we go. That's um, that's that gone. I do want to ink around the edges as well. So I'm just going to use frayed burlap for that just to try and frame it and get rid of the um, white border. Here we go. So we'll just just do this. That looks much, much better. Um, I think the blue will be will be fine. I mean, some of these other ladies are just absolutely gorgeous, but the colours are perhaps a bit too much. I think the plain blue is perfect for this. And so I think I'm just going to have her on there like that. Um, let's just add some um, three in one again, just to pop that down. This is nice and strong. Here we go. Let's just add... Whoops! Add a bit of uh, a bit of this. We can always weight it down as well. So where do I want that to go? I want her there, like like that. I think um, perfect. And then I did also find um, a Tim Holtz um, small talk phrase. And where is it? Today is full of possibilities. Um, and I think that just goes perfectly with that. So I think I'm going to glue this down here like this. I am, as always, going to add a bit more glue because these just do not stick at all. They are just, you know, renowned for coming um, peeled. So we'll have that like that. I've already um, inked around the edges. Today is full of possibilities and I think that page um, is enough. I just love it. I think that's beautiful. So let's just pop this back um, into the journal, slide it um, underneath here. Let me just be careful about how I do this because I don't want to tear any of my, my pages. You've just got to be careful with these um, elastic signatures that you don't tear your, your pages. Um, so next I want to do something with this page um, here. And I've got um, an idea for this one here as well. So let's pull um, this one this one out. Um, in fact, actually, we've got um, a napkin on the other side. And that's exactly what I want to do with this page um, here as well. Um, so this was a napkin that Alien had sent me. I love this peacock. It's just beautiful. 
Now I've got um, another peacock napkin that I want to use. Um, I just think napkins lend themselves beautifully to gel print backgrounds, which is what this um, is. It's just a really grungy gel print um, background that I did a long, long time ago. Um, so let's use this napkin here. Now what I am thinking is that I'd love to have some of this beautiful border. Let's just see if I can open it up. Some of this beautiful border in the top um, right hand corner. Let me just fold this over so that you can see which piece I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I've got um, a glass of water here. In fact, it would help if I had my paintbrush the right way um, up. It looks as if it's dirty as well. <laughs> I'm hopeless at cleaning, aren't I? And so what I'm going to do is just go along here like this. This is the part of the napkin um, I want to use. And just by adding um, a thin line of water, it just makes it really easy to tear around the parts that you want to use. Um, just be really gentle um, about this. I haven't taken any of the plies apart um, yet. So here we go. Let's um, let's just do, do this. There we go. Um, so that's the top part of my, my napkin. So I think that that will just look absolutely beautiful in that top um, corner there. What I think I'll do is I'll glue that down first. Now I need to take the plies apart. So I've been really gross here and used my fingers um, and my tongue to do this. Um, is this two ply or three ply? This is three ply. So just um, wet your finger with your tongue or, you know, water if you're not as gross as I am. <laughs> and just pull the plies apart. You can even use a piece of uh, sellotape. This is my personal journal, so, you know, it's my own germs. Here we go. And so I am just going to glue that down there like that. Um, let's bring in a piece of deli paper. I'm just going to use glue stick to do, to do that. So let's have a look. Where do we want that to go? So let's just apply some glue here like this. And then we can apply the rest as and where we need it. Um, glue stick's really easy um, to use for, for napkins, I think, because you do, just don't get um, any, any wrinkles. So let's just pop that down there like that and just carefully use the bone folder just to smooth everything down. And you can apply more glue where you need it. Here we go. Of course I've missed some bits um, here so we can apply more glue, gently use the bone folder and that should be fine. Just make sure I've got plenty around the um, edges so that that's not coming unstuck. And where I've got um, a short fall here at the top it's fine. I can either trim it or just um, go over it with distress um, ink. I'll probably trim that with my paper trimmer so I'm happy, happy with that. Let's just um, trim trim this isn't that pretty and then I want to use the bottom half of the napkin here to add the peacock I am going to um, trim this first just so that I know which part of the napkin I'm using so we'll just trim trim that quarter because it's just this piece here I want to want to use we can feather it later here we go so that just makes it um, easier for me to play with and um, also position and so I just want um, my napkin on there something something like that um, so what I think I'll do is just go around the outside just with a bit of water just to feather feather this not too much and then I can just um, peel peel that away, just just like this. And this will just help it blend um, into the background without um, seeing a harsh a harsh line. Add a bit more water if you if you need to. Mine's gone a bit um, a bit dry. I don't want to chop off the peacock's um, crown. Here we are. I think this is going to look beautiful. I think napkins are such a great um, resource. 
And I know that um, they're easier to come across in some parts of the world than um, others, which I think is a great shame, actually, because um, here in the UK, they are quite inexpensive. And again, I'm just going to take these um, plies apart. So we've got um, three three plies here. Let's um, let's get rid of get rid of that. Just be gentle about this because they are incredibly fragile. So let's have a look and see what we've got now. So now we can um, add that onto the background. How beautiful is that going to look? So again, um, I'm just going to add some glue. What I am going to do is just make myself a pencil mark just so that, um, oh, hang on, where's my other pencil? That one isn't sharpened. Just so that I know um, where to apply my, my glue. So I'm just going to apply a line of glue. Let's um, fold that um, over all the way here like this. There we are. Get rid of that and just let some um, pop my napkin my napkin down. So I'm just going to start off at the bottom like like this. Gently does it um, don't rush it. Just like that and you can always go over this with some matte medium um, if you feel you need an extra layer of, of glue. I think I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to trim off some of the excess being careful not to cut um, into my, my fold of my page. Isn't that just gorgeous? That's just beautiful. Um, and those have worked together um, seamlessly, I think. Um, so I just need to trim around this uh, down this edge here as well. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? I've had this weighted down underneath the heavy book as well, so that napkin is well and truly stuck. I do want to um, ink around the edges of the whole of this page. I have taken it off to the paper trimmer, by the way, um, and just trimmed off um, any excess. But um, let's let's frame it and just get rid of any of the whiteness from around the edges. I'll do the same with the opposite page um, as well because by the looks of things um, I didn't do that when I made this page and I think that will make um, a big big difference. There we go, you see that looks much much better. So let's pop this back um, into the journal. How did I want that um, to go? I think it was like this, wasn't it? I'm going to have to be really careful with this because of course the napkin um, is incredibly fragile. So just pull it through really gently. Here we go. Oh, I love that. Doesn't that look beautiful? The colors just um, work together really nicely. I love that spread. Now I just want to do one more page in my journal today. Um, where was it? Um, I'm going to work on this page here. So let's um, take this out. We've got this Mucha um, page, Alphonse um, Mucha that I did for the Artist Inspired. I've got um, another one of these images here and I want to try and do something with this. Again, it's going to be a really easy page. Um, I've got um, another piece of that paper that Eugene sent me. In fact, both of these were from Eugene. Um, and I am thinking that I can maybe do something with this. I want to cover up the whole of this page and I'm going to use that in the background. I'm then going to cut out this middle banner here and use that as a kind of um, tuck spot. Let's have a look. Is that going to cover? Yep, it is. And then I can tuck this in here like this. So let me just go and um, trim things down. So you can see I've trimmed these pieces of paper down. Um, I think this is going to look absolutely beautiful. Um, so that's going to go on there, something like that. I've applied a tiny amount of glue just to the side here as well, because what I want to do now that um, I've got that the right height, um, let's just um, double double check. Oh, go on, stay, stay in place. Um, I'm just going to take this off to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew all around the outside. In fact, I better glue it down on this side here as well. So in fact, if I turn it over the other way, it will be um, easier. So let's just apply some glue there as well. Just make sure that that's nice, nice and straight. So that's going to go down there like that. But I just want to take it off to the sewing machine and sew all the way um, around like, um, like this. 
So this has gone off to the sewing machine and that's what this looks like. It's not um, stuck here because of course that's going to be my tuck spot. I have inked around the edges so I'm just going to glue this down now to my page. So that's my pocket um, glued down. Um, so I just need to do something with the back of this postcard because of course that's going to tuck into here and the background is really messy. Now I don't know whether you can remember um, when I did this Mucha um, page here I used this um, paper bag here in the background and I think I'm going to apply some of that to the to the back I think the colors are just perfect I think that will work really really well so I'm just going to glue a piece of this onto the back there we go that's that so that's the um, background I love how that looks let me just um, burnish that down with um, my bone folder I have um, inked around the edges as well just using um, distress oxide in vintage photo just because I felt it needed something darker on this here now I haven't um, rounded the corners using my corner rounder um, I've just used an emery board just like this just because we've already got um, a border here which I didn't want to um, lose um, Let's just go around that um, again. I've inked front and back. And the only final touch I want to um, add is just a little tab again, just with some frayed burlap um, like this. So I'm just going to put a few uh, stitches across the top. I've also decided that um, I want these two pages to go opposite um, one another. So I'm just going to tear this off like this. Um, let's just ink around the um, edge of this one here just to disguise that line. There we go. And I'm going to glue this whoops, upside down, glue it um, on there like that. I do want to apply some ink around the edges first. So let's just um, let's just do this. I'm going to use my brush again to do that using frayed frayed burlap. Nothing too too harsh, just to pull the pages together. I've just um, popped some three in one just around the outside here. So let's let's glue this down. Um, and actually, that background works really well. The colours match um, match beautifully. So I think I'll just go and weight this down underneath a heavy book for a minute or two. I've only um, applied glue just around the outside. I like having those together like that. So I'm leaving that there for today before this um, video goes on for forever. Um, I've managed to do three more pages in my journal, which I'm thrilled to bits with. Um, I love these. Aren't those gorgeous? So, you know, we're right at the back of the journal now. I've only got um, a handful of pages left to complete. And of course, this is the Alphonse um, Mucha card that I've done um, in this little tuck spot. I love that. Where's the other Alphonse Mucha um, page? Here it is. Um, so that's the other one that I did for um, the artist in Inspired. I love those pages. Um, only a handful now of pages left to um, complete, which I will, you know, do in the coming weeks. So just to recap, this is week four and the final week of the Let's Journal prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium. And I don't know about anybody else, but I have thoroughly enjoyed having this as a month long prompt and being able to finish off um, some more pages in my journal. It just it's just a really good feeling knowing that, um, you know, I'm nearly at the end now and I've only got um, a handful of pages left to complete. And I absolutely love the ones that um, I've done this month. I hope that you've enjoyed the videos this month and, um, you know, perhaps they've given you some ideas for pages in your own junk journals. And of course, if you have, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and don't forget to go and check out Kylie's video this week and see what she's been up to. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you all again soon. Of course, Kylie and I will be back next month with a brand new prompt.